So it's my second week of quarantine. <laughs> So it's my second week of enhanced community quarantine experience here in Cebu. Um, I'm staying in a hotel, at a hotel. Um, earlier today, I, I woke up early, like around 6:30, and then I went to my breakfast. It was served. I ate. Well, in the day, I not consume everything because the, the, the food is, is good. At the same time, I think I was looking for something else. Um, I started by having a devotional. I was reading. Um, Colossians. I was in the chapter where um, I think it was a ministry by the apostle. Let me check again. Um, no, I'm actually in the Thessalonians already. I've finished Colossians. Um, I'm. I was reading earlier. Where I will read. We read this today, so I would be able to read, um, dissect and be able to understand what the whole um, chapter is trying to convey um it's the story the chapter is at chapter four first thessalonians chapter four it's how paul is um, how paul is trying to share people or, or discuss to people or encourage exhort people to live a life pleasing to god so that's something that i read it's just a very short chapter but i will reread it so i will be able I've observed that um, after I read, I get to be attacked easily by the enemy. I get to do things that are really um, congruent to what I've read. Um, like earlier, I sent a text message to someone which isn't, which isn't very, very friendly, very um, so unbecoming. Not really too much, but um, I, I think I could have positioned it a little bit positively. So yeah. So I had to really, because you know, worship isn't just about devotion. This isn't just about um, reading the Word of God. Worship is um, living the life of a Christ-like and godly believer of Jesus Christ. So um, it's it's hard. It's a narrow narrow road that you are like um, taking, but um, you just have to keep your eyes on the prize and um, just endure and endure and be like I, I found this word today, stoic, stoic. That's how it was pronounced, stoic. Um, it's the character of being like you have. It's, it's the characteristic of a person um, who endures despite painful situation and um, without necessary without um, complaining or showing too much emotion about the situation. So I think that's something that God is encouraging us to possess, to be stoic in our walk with Christ. That no matter how hard, no matter how difficult the situation is we just have to obey to obey god um and also interestingly i had um a session not really a session but i've watched several videos on youtube there's a vlogger i will um check the name of the vlog so i can you know some sort of a, uh, a credit to the content creator it's um, the name of the vlog is check. Um, Sergio or Sergio or Sergio and Rhoda in Israel. So they are traveling in different areas of Israel. Um, Israel. I've I've seen videos that they were in Jerusalem. They were they were discussing or they were trying to tour us, a vir give us a virtual tour of the places where Je Jesus and the disciples of Jesus or the early Christians um, settled and their, their affairs back then so they refer referred everything from the Bible and they tried to visit um, those areas and share to us what it looks like right now in the modern age so I think that was very interesting because you know at one point they have this this desire to also visit the areas where or the places where um, Jesus had affairs or had um, like where Jesus had ministry or even the the disciples of Jesus I have this I've heard about this yearly um, I think trip of our church they send people to Turkey and other areas or they go to different areas where Jesus and the early Christians had um, um, where they, they visited and where they lived where they settled so I think that's something that I'm also praying and I'm 
pray that I could be able to also experience that at least in my own. If not with that trip, maybe on my own or with friends, I'll be able to have uh, the provision to be able to visit those areas. Not really because I want to prove to myself that I'm worthy of Jesus because it's already given. We're, we're worthy of Jesus' um, salvation or God's salvation because He died for us on that cross. It's unmerited. We don't deserve it, but He gave it and it's grace. But I just want to, you know, if you love someone, you're very interested to visit where that person used to live, right? So if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or if you're someone you want to marry, you would always want to, you would also want to visit the place where he lived or she lived, the, the areas where she used to have, like, you know, the, the, the places where he used to hang out when he was a kid or she was a kid, something like that. So. Since I love Jesus, and sometimes I'm unlovable, Jesus is very gracious to me, or God is very gracious to me, and I'm at my worst as He loves me, but sometimes I cannot love Him that much, but you know, if you love someone, you will be also interested to know, get to know them better. So I've been reading about Jesus Christ through the Holy Bible, at the same time, I'd also be interested to visit the areas where or the places where Jesus lived, where Jesus had his ministry. So because you love the person, so you would also know more or you would also want to discover more about the person. To me that's Jesus. So yeah, um interesting he has a lot of the the content is a lot or a lot in, in the vlog so I will check more. And I'm also watching um a series on Netflix. It's I think it's the Book of Acts, and they're trying to, um, what's the name? I cannot open it because I'm using the iPad where the video or the series was downloaded. But it's more of how Jesus, is, like the, the story of Jesus when he was um, sentenced in Gethsemane, and then he walked the Via Dolorosa, and uh, the crucifixion, and the tomb was empty, and then he was resurrected. So I have to finish. Um, I think five more episodes. I think I finished three episodes already. So um, that's about the second week of Bible experience. And I've also read this, or I, I saw this post on um, Facebook that if this quarantine experience will um, make you a better person in terms of your habits, in terms of your mindset, in terms of your attitude, um, and I think it's a quarantine experience based thing. So um, that's what I'm trying to. Um, always remember these days that I shouldn't be lazy, I don't want to catch potato all the time. I want to make sure that I will come out strong after the, the quarantine experience. You know, it's going to be a, a different battle outside when everything's over, like when this coronavirus is over. But, you know, it's the best time to prepare. It's best time to prepare now. So, yeah, um, I think that's it. And I'm going to um, see you later.